Hi, and welcome to the Virtual Channel Network. My name is Linda Rondinella Osgood, and we're doing a series on department stories. Today we have the privilege of having my friend Beth Hoppy here, and um, she does wardrobe and fashion design and all kinds of fun stuff for movies and television. So let's get started talking to her about all that fun stuff. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So, um, your credentials, what are your credentials? Um, I started at Fashion Design School at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, downtown Los Angeles, about 12 years ago, and that's where it all kind of started, and I got involved in meeting costume designers and, you know, visiting sets and just seeing how it all worked, and it seemed like something that would be really fun and interesting and kind of different all the time, and decided to follow that and get into that. Oh, good. That's awesome. And so it was just easy to just get into. You're just like, you know, no. when you visited and, and they're like, come no. work for us. And no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> um, I started out actually working in New York, doing a bunch of different things in fashion, just kind of getting my feet wet. And a friend of mine who's a costumer out here in Los Angeles called me and said, why don't you come out and do this? It's so much fun. So I moved out here and she got me my first job on a film called He's Just Not That Into You. And very cool. Basically, I just very big stuff. Yeah, You're like right there. Yeah, it was kind of a little bit intimidating to go into something that big right away. Um, but my crew was great. I had known the costume designer. I'd met her mm -hmm. through my college years before, so she was really great in kind of like showing me the steps and leading me around and teaching me how it all worked, mm. and kind of let me be a part of everything. When people who just start out don't really get to see everything and she let me sit in on meetings and mm -hmm. kind of just learn the whole business. What a great opportunity. So you got to do every girl's dream. You got to go and shop, shop for and a living. the high-end stores and um, did ever, anyone tell you like oh this is how much you can only spend or whatever? No. <gasps> no. Oh like my that, gosh. They just tell you to go <laughs> shop and go crazy and they, you have an outline for each character of mm -hmm. how they would dress and their personality and you just go and shop like you're shopping for your friends That's and you bring so it cool. back and then the money people have to deal with the rest of that so I love it's nice that. to have the shopping job how do we get that into our <laughs> lives you know we could just do that you know yeah. have the money people worry about stuff and we could just exactly. play you know yeah so you just basically have one big room and it's set up for each character and we shop and you put it in the character and it's like just making a huge closet and things are just pulled, and then whatever we don't use, we return. Oh, good. So then a day in the life of a movie set. Um, I've always heard they're just crazy long into the night hours. Is that oh, yeah. true? Yeah. yeah. Usually about, you know, 15, 16, 17 hours a day. Um, the good thing is, is that you work those hours for three months straight, and then you have a break for as long as you want. You could take another movie right away, or you could go on vacation for a month. Oh, that's so, good. So you make a lot of money. You make good You money. make a good amount of money in a really short amount of time. And you kind of, you know, give up your life for three or four months. But you make really good friends. And most people I've worked with, I'm still really good friends with. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. And then do you travel? Is it kind of like a traveling circus type of thing where you travel from one movie to another movie? And Usually the costume people? designer will kind of keep a crew. Maybe mm -hmm. a couple people will, you know, filter in here and there. But... Usually once you're comfortable with a crew, it's much easier to just move to the next film so that um, you kind of already have a system going. Because it's hard to, every three months, you know, start a new job and try to figure out a system that works. So if you already have a group mm -hmm. that works well, just keep them and move them along. Well, you must be good at what you do because, you know, you, you they let you do so many things when you did get there. You know, I'm sure if they wouldn't have felt you know, confidence in you and your abilities. They wouldn't have allowed you to have so many responsibilities on that movie. Yeah, I had a lot of friends who kept telling me who had been customers for years, like, we never get to do that. Why did you get to do That's that? So cool. And I, I also had a relationship with her for years mm -hmm. through my college. And I think she just, she's one of those great costume designers who's worked on, you know, tiny little films if she mm -hmm. just loves the script and then has worked on, you know, $200 million big budget films, and she just loves what she does, and she mm -hmm. likes when people are passionate. And if she sees that in you, she's willing to help you. So That's good. I agree. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Beth, and thank you so much for watching the Virtual Channel Network um, Department Stories. Please tune in next week.